Hello and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your fuel filter on this Kangoo van. This is a diesel. As you can see, this is a new fuel filter that we're going to be fitting. As you can see, at the bottom of it, as you can see, you're going to need to remove the little plastic, um, sort of like, like a screw, but a plastic one that you need to remove from this one, the old one, as you can see, to fit onto this one. But the only thing you need to replace off it is the seal and put a new seal on it. So just remember to do that. Don't just literally put this one on and don't check the bottom of it as all the fuel will come out. And then first what you need to do is unplug it, like so. And then you need to, basically, as you can see these little clips here, as you can see they've got like colors on them. You need to push that side in and also push that side in down there. And also it's the same on this one. But basically what you need to do is, as you can see, I've already unplugged it. You need to unplug the switch. You literally just push this clip in and it just comes off and as you can see put a little green colored bit there which you need to push that side in there's also another one on that side push both of them in at the same time and it's the same on this one as well I need to push both of them at the same time and then just pull it up and both of them will come off and then you need to remove that there's also a, as you can see there's a 10 mil bolt located just down there as you can see down here, but my, as you can see, that's the 10 mil nut down there that you need to remove, literally, so you can actually pull the filter straight up and it'll come straight up. As you can see, this one, there's a little bit of leakage down there around here somewhere. Or maybe it's when they fitted it before. And first, what we're gonna do is gonna take both these lines off, and then we're gonna remove that 10 mil nut. See what it does down there. Then be able to pull this up. So as you can see, I'm just going to use a 10 mil ratchet and socket, just to take that off. There's also another way around it, you can literally take that 10 mil from there, and that 10 mil from there, and just pull the whole thing out. As you can see, you don't need to take that nut off, 10 mil nut off completely. It's just enough so you can slide the filter out. As you can see, literally, you'll be able to pull it up, like so, as you can see. As you can see, that's a bit underneath that I'm talking about. I need to remove and put the new seal on it and then refit it. So as you can see, I normally just literally turn the pole upside down, literally in like a oil drain or something like that, whilst all the fuel is draining out, as you can see. Make sure you just screw this up off, like so. So as you can see it's now off, as you can see that's the seal that I said you need to place that one there. So we're going to replace that one and then screw this new this back into the new photo. As you can see, you can see the difference between the two of them as well. You can see that one's a bit more stretched, the old one. I'm going to fit that one on it. See that's all on there now. As you can see, this is a new filter. So we're just going to fit it to that, then reconnect it. Also, once you put the filter back in, just remember once you've connected everything back up, to turn the ignition on and just leave it on for a little, so around a minute or so, just so the fuel can literally fill the filter up. And then once you start the car, it should start straight away. Otherwise, you have a problem starting it for a while until the fuel builds up in the filter itself. As you can see, literally just slot it back in. Just get these pipes out of the way. Like so. As you can see, they literally just clip on. You can hear that. That's secure in place. And then this one, let's do the same. As you can see, put a plug back on. Just clean up any excess fuel that's 
around the area and then literally just gonna tighten that 10 mil nut down there so now that's all tightened just check make sure the filter's not moving as you know that's perfectly secure and that's basically it so literally just turn the ignition on let's leave it on for a little while So the fuel can circulate. Now I'll turn it back off again. Now I'll turn it back on. Then literally it should just start straight away. As you can hear from this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed. Keep on rolling. Boom.